On this episode of An In-Depth Look, we give you a preview of Fedora 10. We've been hard in the past on Fedora. Mm-hmm. We've, uh, we've given them a hard time, mostly yeah. about their artwork, because Fedora in the past has looked worse and worse every release. Since Fedora uh, Core 6, when they had the DNA theme. Right, the DNA theme back in Fedora yep. Core 6, back before they dropped the core from Fedora Core. Right. And, uh, you know, so we, we've been a little harsh on them in the past. We've had some of the Fedora Projects folks on the show to talk about it, and uh, they've been good sports overall. Mm-hmm. But uh, now that we've got Fedora Core, Fedora 10 coming out later this month, yeah. uh, just uh, two days ago, I believe two days ago now, mm-hmm. they dropped the preview release. Yeah. Supposedly it's the... It's like almost a final candidate release, but not really. I'm not exactly sure where this release falls into the grand scheme of actual releases, but uh, it's a preview and it's complete, um, right. with minus maybe bug fixes, is what I'm guessing. So, uh, so we kind of we took a look. We took it for a test drive, kicked the tires a little bit, see how uh, how this baby purrs. <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, you you gave it a spin over there. Yep, I and, did. Uh, good look at it mm-hmm. and uh um i don't know how what you thought of it well uh, but i thought it sucked go ahead you're a sir I, I thought there was definitely some aspects to it that i liked quite a bit that i thought um i thought in a lot of ways fedora 10 is going to be uh what ubuntu's 8.10 should have been you know actually you're right on that in yeah. some aspects yeah. like the thing yeah. that uh, the thing i like is fedora 10 is it boots faster um it does boot a lot faster and actually I was noticing in general performance was very snappy. Yeah, I was yeah. I was impressed with performance. And and on a on a and I was running it in VM, but in a full like installed desktop version, they tell me that uh, they've they've designed the boot graphical boot process so there's not that flicker effect when it hands off between the Red Hat graphical boot right. and X11. It's it's called something else now. It's new, and they tell me that that's been improved. And so that's the, the, really the, cool. The bootloader actually looks phenomenal. And, it's real uh, clean and pro looking. It, it looks really clean and pro, as does yeah. the installer. In fact, the whole, uh, you know, welcome to Fedora experience mm-hmm. is very pro. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, the Fedora installer itself really hasn't changed much over the years. Uh, That's what I, I like, it's Anaconda. pretty consistent. I mean, pe- people like it. Um, um, but uh, it looks very, very nice. And it's mostly thanks to the new artwork they've got going on, which has kind of like this, like this planet with these... It's a solar. Like they call the theme up. solar, I think, is what they call it. And it looks great. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one, one of my favorite great. things about Fedora 10 so far. It, it's, yeah. It's, it's their that, best theme. I, I think they've surpassed DNA finally with this. I, I want to say, I want to say though, um, the so the desktop wallpapers, the pictures, the login screens, all that looks phenomenal. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Our team should be very proud of themselves. Mm-hmm. However, the default uh, window decoration themes... Is horrible. Yeah, it's hideous. Bad. I don't like, know. I, 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 I'm at least I made fun of Fedora Nine for looking kind of like yeah, Windows Two Thousand or right. Windows, like look like an old Windows. They, they, this one does not. I gotta give them credit. Uh, it does not look like old Windows. It's, it. There's like a blue. Yeah. And then like there's like the buttons are like kind of a squarish. Always blue that looks just a little too big. Yeah. And it just it looks. Cheap. It you looks know, real cheap. It looks like some of the cheapest uh, uh, GNOME themes I've I've seen in a long time. I don't dislike it as much as you. I I it, I did look at it. I and I didn't. I liked it. And I thought, uh, not a fan of that. But I didn't dislike. I it like as much it as so you. much. I would rather have it be a bunch of human brown for the uh, for the look and feel. Well, the a bunch of human brown buttons aren't bad. It's just the color that I don't like. It's just the color that I don't like. But you yeah. know. I, I, I was very disappointed with that, but the the wallpaper and the login screens yep. and the bootloading screen look so good. Yeah. And this is a problem we mentioned with Fedora 9 too, is that there's almost a disparency between how great parts of them look and right. how bad other parts look. Yeah. So it makes parts that are kind of weak look worse, yeah. which is kind of a bummer because there's so many strengths in the Fedora, in right. the Fedora itself. Right. So uh, I, at first I started with the Fedora DVD. I did the install and it didn't work. Uh, the installer installed, um, and then on reboot, it just kind of did this weird little uh. progress bar thing, uh, which hopefully, if I do the video editing right, you'll see right now, so you know what I'm talking about. And for <laughs> those of you who say, "Why don't you issue a bug?" Well, here's the freaking screenshot. Go issue your own bug. Oh, so, oh man. Uh, 
uh, and, and it just didn't work. So I did a reinstall on a completely different machine, uh, not in VMware, because that was a VMware install. Same exact thing happened. So I'm assuming the VM, the uh, Fedora 10 Preview DVD ISO does not work. I'm assuming. But now, I'm assuming, no, I work. was I was able to get it to work just fine using the live CD. Yeah, I used the then I used the live CD, okay. no problems. Okay, live yeah. CD booted, installed, everything works great. Yeah. live CD was dandy, um, and uh, it was totally fine. So I recommend if you're going to try it out. Grab the live CD, right? And it's much. At much this better. point, anyways, maybe not even worth installing this particular re release. Anyways, the live CD is better for that reason, right? Just itself. Right. You know, one of the other things that I haven't got a lot of testing done, but by the time Fedora 10 hits, I plan to have tested, is a rewrite, a rewritten, mostly rewritten version of Pulse Audio is included, um, yes. which is supposedly going to get better granulated audio application controls for specific apps and um which is very cool and it's going to have I, I think what they call uh uh, uh less hardware wake up so that way it's not pinging the audio card constantly which should result in better battery life on laptops i hope so, so I, I mean really if you, if you look through the general release uh feature release uh list it, this is a good release i mean it, it reads a lot like what we got out of uh, ubuntu 8.10 mm -hmm. um except little more stable for versions um uh, you know better webcam support yeah. uh you know better sound support uh, and this also startup, fedora 10 is going to include the new ver that openoffice.org openoffice.org 3 yeah. yeah and i and uh ubuntu does not which is great right, right. right. Uh, that was I was kind of surprised a bunch of didn't do that. So yeah. in a lot of ways, the Fedora 10 is a lot more cutting edge than. Uh than mm -hmm. the latest Ubuntu release, which is kind of a bummer. They're also including for the devs out there uh, NetBeans by default. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of interesting uh, yeah. if you're if you're a NetBeans guy. So it's it's an interesting release. Um, it's not it's not breaking everything cutting edge release. Right. right. Um, um, but. Uh, it very much is in the, the line with what Fedora has done up until now. So mm -hmm. if you like Fedora, it's kind of seeming like it's good. This is going to make you happy. Definitely. Um, right. You know, great wallpaper, horrible theme. Lots of really cool apps that well, are kind of cut. I don't know if the whole theme, like I thought all the like the GTK elements themselves, the buttons and whatnot it's looked just, good. Yeah, it's just the window borders and decorations yeah, that yeah. are bad. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's how it's always been. With but Fedora. it's easy to change out the window borders. I know. I know. I know. I'm a fuddy duddy. We go back and forth on that all the time. I know. All the time. Yeah. But it is, if you like Fedora, and if you liked Fedora in the past, this yeah. is definitely going to be an interesting release. Oh, yeah. This is, not like a, this is not like a sitting on the sidelines release. This actually has some interesting stuff to it. Um, so when Fedora 10 actually finally comes out uh, later this month, we'll do a full in-depth review of it. Mm -hmm. We'll go into it and tell you really how it was and, and how it acts as an actual release. And the progress but, that they made since this release. Right, yep. so, and, and I'm hoping they make a little bit still. So hopefully they fix the uh, problems with installing from the DVD. By the way, what's the deal with installing from DVDs? Seriously, guys. You want it to be CDs? Want... Is that what it just is? A CD, just one little CD. Why yeah. do I want to download a 5 gig thing? Just make it like a live CD. The live CD works. The Ubuntu live CD works. The OpenSUSE live CDs work. Just do a live CD. Call it good. Let's get rid of all of this. You know, your distribution is installed from seven different CDs that you have to download the ISOs of or a DVD baloney. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's no good. Gotcha. I know some people have bandwidth issues in uh, Zimbabwe or something, but uh, too bad. I say too bad. Uh, they don't get it. That's why they don't They're want a DVD. That's why they want a CD. I know. No, I'm saying I the people with bandwidth issues would probably prefer a CD. Well, I'm saying, but see, uh, the, the whole the whole thing is, if they get the DVD once, they can burn it. Then, no matter how many times they install yeah, it, they don't true. have to re-download all the extra packages. All so right. I get so, I get, the, so I get it. I get it. So that's our in-depth look at the preview release of Fedora 10. Preview. Release. In depth. Ten. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs>